something that's deceivingly simple, but it's not. Those are my favorite recipes. That It looks like there's only three or four components on a plate, but it's it's made with a lot of technique and um, you can taste it and you can see it. And that to me is a great recipe where, I mean, you know, that, that that's a pretty broad statement, but there's many dishes that I'm envious of for, that other chefs make that I'm like, oh my God, that's genius. That's so delicious. And no one can do it because that requires such a high level of skill. And to me, that's a great recipe. Because at the same time, it's easy to do, but there's a barrier to accomplishing it because of the technique level and the, and the skill level. And those are the ones I appreciate the most. So many things what Wiley makes at uh, WD-50, uh, I just get so mad at sometimes. He's a good friend, but they're so delicious. But I'm just like, man, he's so smart. <laughs> and I, it just, it boggles my mind because at the end of the day, it looks complicated, but it's not, you know. It, it's, it's understanding food, um, and food theory and, and, and building upon flavor profiles. Um, Chef Keller too, you know, people are, are just like, wow, that's really delicious. Or why, you know, it's simple. Like the salmon cornet is like the greatest amuse-bouche of all time because it's so simple. It's, it's and, and that, that flavor combination has been around for years, but not packaged that way and not executed at the high level. Um, and it could just be like pasta from Andrew Carmelini, you know, or getting fish sliced from Chef, Chef Yasuda at Sushi Yasuda. It's like stuff that has a lot of technique. It looks simple slicing fish, but it's not that simple. Um, those are the things that get me excited. I say this because one of our sous chefs said this is like the, the this like sort of the signature sort of momofuku dish. And I, I think it was simple, like uh, just cherry tomatoes on tofu with shiso and like a little sesame soy vinaigrette. Not that, that it's difficult to make, but it took us a long time to figure that one out. It's, it's basically our take on a salad caprese and, uh, you know, we had all these market tomatoes and we we're just like, what are we going to do? We we're just looking, literally looking at them on the, on the table, like, just like, okay, we're sort of an Asian restaurant. How the hell are we going to serve these? And we just stared at him for a good hour I was drinking a beer and, and it was just like, all right, no one thought of anything and we'd come home and I thought about it some more and we're like, okay, let's peel the grape tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes because I don't necessarily like the texture on a cherry tomato. So it's nice and beautiful too. So you quickly blanch it and we'll make beautiful little cylinders of tofu and we'll gently put it on and make a nice chiffonade of, uh, uh, of uh, shiso. So it looks like basil. You know, the whole thing looks like mozzarella and tomatoes and basil, but the, the flavor profile is completely different and uh, couldn't be more simple. And we like that dish a lot. So.